Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're talking about batch printing. And if you are venturing out in the wonderful world of white label or alternative aligners, of course, I've got tons and tons of content on that. If you want to watch more content on this, all you have to do is go to my channel, to the little looking glass at the top middle part of my channel, and type in white label aligners or just clear aligners and all my videos will come up. If you can't figure out how to do that, you can contact us at Street Smile Solutions or send us an email at info at streetsmilesolutions.com and we'll be glad to send you our playlist. Anyways, so if you're doing white label, remember not all white label is the same. There's really great designers, not so great designers. The worst is the ones you do yourselves and I'm not gonna say, I just see so much bad. <laughs> <laughs> I see so much bad that you guys are doing. I see so much bad outcomes. So I really, really recommend that you go with a US based white label aligner company. I have a lot of videos on that. I have a few that I recommend. I'll be even glad to introduce you to the ones that I generally work with. I'll tell you the pros and cons of each ones. Um, and yeah, you should definitely do it. But one super secret sauce that I know you can do with some of the companies that I work with, maybe not the ones that you're work working with. And remember, what makes a big difference is not only the designer, but also the manufacturer. What material are they using to manufacture? How are they trimming it? These are all things you need to know. Of course, my favorite is um, the FLX is my favorite. It's really the only material I recommend. So that's you have to compare apples to apples and you have to make sure they're using FLX. And of course, you don't want a super straight line trim either. So make sure that your quality is good if you're having this outsourced and if you're having it designed outsourced as well. Okay, so batch printing. If you want to do batch printing, most of my doctors are doing batch printing. The white label and the manufacturers are not gonna offer this to you. So you have to ask for it. So why would they? It's, you know, it's more of a hassle for them. So batch printing, let's say, and I generally don't recommend that you do white labor cases when you're first getting started, I like to make them less than 10 aligners. Um, if you're kind of, you know, media, medium level, you can do up to 20, maybe 20 upper and lower. But if it's more than that, it makes no sense. You might as well use Invisalign and use a comprehensive. It just doesn't make sense unless you really, really hate taking impressions, which some people hate doing. And, you know, you don't have an iTero. Um, but, you know, that's Invisalign's loss. That's a dumb move on their part because they're losing tons of customers. And customers are getting used to using alternative aligners as a result. It's such, such a dumb move, but whatever. Um, in any case, batch printing. So you can tell the manufacturer, let's say it's a 10 upper and lower, you know, can, I'm just going to have five, you know, the first time, five uppers and five lowers. And that way your lab fee, let's say the doctors I'm working with are paying about $20 per aligner. Well, great. Normally the lab fee would be right 10 upper and lower at $20 an aligner plus an, about a 90 to $140 setup fee. It's around $500. So, but if you're batch printing, you're only going to have to pay $2.90 to start because you're just going to pay for those aligners that you're printing. You're not printing the whole case. And then if those go super well, then you can order the next batch. You don't even have to take another impression. You just order it. And if somehow they, they got off track and, you know, if you're using one of these align flow or dental monitoring or GP ortho tracking, like I recommend, they're not going to go off track. So, you know, that's super important. But if somehow your patient got off track, well, if you're batch printing, at least you're not out out of pocket for that $200 just going down the drain, going in the trash can, you know, polluting the environment. You didn't spend it anyways. You never had them made. So no big deal because you're only paying for what you're making. So usually the design um, at further refinement is free and manufacturing, yeah. It's, you're just paying for what you're doing. So that way you're not getting punished for your refinements if you're doing white label. Super tricky, but important. It works really, really well. But again, you have to ask for it. Don't ask, don't get, right? And you, they're probably going to charge you like a convenience fee or a, a additional shipping fee. But I I know lots of doctors doing it and no one's complaining about it. So it must not be too high. I don't know how much it is. You'll have to ask. All right. Thanks so much.